Hey y'all. Good morning, Gray Bays. I could not find my camera. Just found it. It was in my office, which remember last night I was trying to clean up and still haven't. I already put my laptop and my tote bag in the car because I couldn't find the camera. And I'm like, where is it? I looked in my laptop bag. I looked in my tote bag. Then I looked in my laptop bag again, and then my tote bag again. It still wasn't there. Didn't materials like magically materialize or anything? I looked in my purse like three times, and I'm like, like, where is it? Uh, these are these are gift cards I'm mailing out. Hey, if you want something from me recently, it's headed out in the mail today. I also am going to Starbucks, and I'm going to buy a gift card, and I'm going to put it on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might get free coffee. Just saying. That's where I'm headed down. And it looks like it might rain today. I'm supposed to go to an event today at Perry Homes, which I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure I'm going to that one for like for sure, <laughs> 99 percent sure. Um, but I have to leave shortly for that. And then I'm also gonna go to something in Fort Worth tonight, it's Facebook for Business. But if it's raining really bad, I'm not gonna go. Sorry, <laughs> but it's an hour away. So it's really far to be traveling in not great weather. I was just looking at my hair. I didn't get up in time to like curl it. I haven't gotten up in time to curl it in a long time. I need to do that, but we need to go first. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks, my favorite, and we're gonna talk about animal print clothing. So today I have on an animal print like kimono, it's kimono, it's not like a kimono, it is a kimono. And before anyone asks me, I know it's not a kimono, but it's what we in America call kimono. But it, where are kimonos from anyway, Japan or China? I wondered what this print was. I didn't know if it's like cheetah print or leopard, so do you know? And by the way, I think I'm wearing the wrong shade of foundation. But, okay, so I Googled it because I didn't know. And from what I gather, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what Google told me, that the cheetah is like a round black dot kind of thing. Whereas the leopard print has like like two circles, like a circle and a circle, and they're like different colors, I think. And then y'all, blow my mind, somebody threw Jaguar, Jaguar, into the mix. I'm like, what? No, is this Jaguar? I don't know. Jaguar, Jaguar, Jaguar. Do you know what I'm talking about? So I'm assuming that this is more like a leopard print than a cheetah print or jaguar print. Let me know your thoughts. That's what I want to talk about today. Is this cheetah, leopard, or jaguar? Or zebra? I know it's not zebra. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though. Because that's creepy. As it turns out, nobody from the office wants to go to this luncheon with me. And I'm like, why not? I guess they're all busy. Which is fine. But I'm heading out. I'm late. I'll get there like, let me see what time it ends first. It says 11.30 to 1 and I'll get there about 12.20. That's still time to go look at stuff. Yeah? No? Okay. Let's go to the mobile mobile home? No. Model homes. One of the cool things about being a realtor is you get to tour such pretty model homes. There's a realtor luncheon today and tour of homes. Look how cute this space is. Even has an ensuite with a stand-up shower. Cute decor in here. Hey folks, here I am. And it has this great walk-in closet pretty cool. On the opposite side of that secondary bedroom, they have this great secondary living space. I suppose this could be used for a bedroom too. But it's cute. And there's another another secondary bedroom. And let's see what size closet it has. It has a decent sized closet. 
And here's the laundry room. Oh, they even have space for a pet. But this is cute. This is the master, you guys. It is amazing. So spacious, so roomy. And look at the bathroom. I mean, come on, y'all. Look at the bathroom. So much room, so much space. Here's one closet here. Plenty of room in that closet. We have a tub, garden tub, nice soaking tub there. And here I am again. The vanities are separate, which is nice. And a stand-up shower with a little corner seat in there. And then another really great sized closet with double rods, which I love. I'm inside the Highland Homes now, and I wanted to show you the living room, kitchen area in this home because it's just, it's pretty. It's just pretty. So walking in from the front door, you've got the dining room area here. You've got your living room area. It's just all open to each other. Come around here, you've got your kitchen area, and then you've got this cute little breakfast area right over there. It's, it's just awesome, super cute. So here's the master, and it's got room for a little seating area, which we're trying to do in our current bedroom. But um, I like the green. I think it's bringing a lot of fresh spring vibes into here. And, oh, here's the bathroom. That's nice. My only complaint is this doorway here is just a little narrow, but it's a nice size closet. And then coming back out into the bathroom. This isn't really that practical because there's not really like a mirror set up here, but it is pretty. I do like the tiered stand that they have there with the uh, bath products on it. Okay, now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. Okay, kind of like a cute little study area here, calling it a genius bar. Place to watch TV, and there's two secondary bedrooms up here. Here's one. Not sure I'm really digging the walls, but it's got a theme for sure. I just have a thing for tiered things. This is cute. Back here's another bedroom. I really like those curtains. Those are nice. Those that know me know this is one of my favorite movies ever. And it's playing. So that tour of homes gave me some inspo. Now I'm at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to go check out some tiered stands for the bathroom. Specifically the guest bathroom because the main bathroom, probably don't need it. Well, I kind of want it there too. A super quick stop at the storage building because I want to pull that box that says kitchen and put some more stuff away and start knocking down that one side of the wall that has a ton of boxes. Because um, I cleared out most of the boxes on the right side because those are like Christmas. The ones that are left are like Christmas and stuff, which I don't need right away. But the other side, I don't know what treasures we'll find. Hopefully a lot. Okay, so again, Lisa's top tips for moving and packing. Clearly mark the box. Somewhere, somewhere to indicate what room in the house this goes in because I have no clue. So it's going to be like a mystery box. Maybe we can do like an unboxing later where we're like, what's in the box? Because I have no clue what is in the box. No clue whatsoever. But it's something that was probably in my old house. <laughs> 
because that's where it came from. Could, I couldn't even write one word on there. Like, or even like, O for office. Or like, GB for guest bedroom. Or something. No, no clue. It's a mystery box. So I'm just doing two boxes right now because it looks like the bottom is about to fall out outside. A gully washers are coming, if you will, which just means it's gonna rain. If it hasn't already started raining. So I'm hoping it hasn't because I'm gonna load these boxes up. I'm not taking them back to the storage unit. And then I've gotta bring the cart back inside, which reminds me, let's turn around and pull it as opposed to push it because then I won't be able to open the door. So I'm gonna go back to the office hang out for a little bit, and then I'm gonna head home. Can y'all see what I'm talking about? With the rain about to come? Like, look over there. It's gonna rain. So as you can see, drops of water are starting to hit the ground, which means it has started to rain. My weather app said that there was lightning detected within two miles of me, so that means it's time to go home.